So today's hopefully quick little project, I've got a bunch of these Z-Wave switches. This is an Intermatic um, CA600. This is the this is a dimmer one. Um, basically, what Z-Wave is, if you're watching this video and and didn't click on it specifically because you have this problem, um, Z-Wave works with several different home automation systems. I have a home seer system. I used to have a um, uh, Mikasa Verde or whatever. Um, that's when I bought all these, and they were dirt cheap when I bought them compared to the forty, fifty dollars that uh, that these things normally run. The problem that I'm having now is when I, I just switched to Home Seer a couple weeks ago, and it, it's a great system, and I really recommend it um, over some of the cheaper solutions, but these switches, the problem I'm having, well, it would be easier just to show you on some of these over here. So this is a dimmer switch, and then this is a controlled outlet. These are both made by the same people. Um, the problem I'm having is that when you run an optimization through Home Seer, basically my understanding of it is that the Z-Wave, it's sort of a mesh network, so it tries to connect devices that are closer to each other in order to optimize that. And it seems to be what's happened is somehow it's lost, or made the switch think, at least, that it's lost communication. They, these switches all actually work, but they're switching like they're, they're flashing, like they're not paired. Well, the annoyance is I've got a house full of these switches that are now flashing all over the house. So the goal here, you know, I've done some research online and the best solution seemed to be to erase everything and restart, which is not a solution that I feel is good for the long term. Um, I don't need this stupid little light on there. If it's not paired, then I'll know that it's not paired because it's not working. Um, so my goal is to take this thing apart and just disable that LED. So that's basically what this video is going to be about. I didn't mention it before, but this switch had stopped working, which is why I'm kind of being a little more aggressive with taking it apart than I normally would. Um, so this is the, I guess, kind of light tube plastic conduit to um, bring from the LED. There's two LEDs. I assume it's the, the white, and then there's a red one, I think, that also can flash on those switches also. Um, right here on this board and you know I thought about just coming in from the back side here and come on focus coming in from the back side and desoldering these and that may be a next level solution um, but I think what I'm going to do is this cover comes off pretty easily like I wouldn't have to these are these are interchangeable if you have different color different color switches and, and face plates in your house um, so these come off pretty easy with a couple tabs so I think what I'm going to do is just just break that off or cut it off and then put uh, put some black tape across there it seems to be a easy enough solution as long as it doesn't still transmit through I tried putting um, I tried putting some white vinyl just as a easy solution across the across the top of this and you could still when it was dark pretty obviously see that it was that it was pulsing so that was still an annoyance but hopefully uh, hopefully just taking this taking this off and then putting a piece of tape on there will make it workable 
So we're back at the switch that I was showing before and I tried electrical tape and I had three layers of electrical tape, black electrical tape on there and you could still see it showing through. So the material I actually used is probably not something everybody has just laying around but this is vinyl for wall uh, graphics. It's thicker than what you would have for a car and uh, it's also thicker than electrical tape. It's not as adhesive, but that doesn't really matter at all in this situation. Um, so basically two layers of that blocked it out to where you can't see it at all. One layer, you could still see it a little bit through. Um, you could probably get to the point where you had enough layers of electrical tape on there that it would stop, you know, showing through. But I, you know, I had the other stuff laying around, so I didn't want to get to that point. I don't, I didn't, go that far so I'm not sure if five six seven layers thick of, of electrical tape would make it so that you can't see it but that does seem to be a solution we'll go ahead and get it back together so you can see what it looks like that way okay so we got that one that, that you know you don't notice any difference you can't even tell that, that it doesn't have the plastic in it um, I did snip that off and then grind it smooth just because I had a grinder sitting right here. Um, now we're going to take apart the electrical outlet and see how it goes. So we've got the same situation here where the cover can come off. And we've got the same light tube, so I'm not going to worry about taking this apart. I only have two of these, so a marginal solution will work. Um, it's really sort of silly why I even have this right here. The battery charger that's plugged in above here, um, I found that the batteries, if they sat on the charger, wouldn't be worth anything when I... Uh, came back to them. So basically this just switches that charger off at night and then switches it back on in the morning so that the uh, batteries are charged up. Yeah, in this situation it would be annoying if that plug was didn't have anything plugged into it and it was flashing um, that's actually not the that actually might be an issue um, the controlled plug is the bottom one I assume this is right the way it's marked um, so the only other place I have one of these currently I just have in my gym I have a fan plugged into the controlled outlet so when I walk in the room flip on the lights it automatically turns on the treadmill and it turns on the uh, turns on a fan that runs in there um, so that might be an issue I don't I'm not in that room with the lights off so I don't think it's gonna be a problem I could just stick something you know put a like a uh, you know, like one of those baby covers or something on there or I don't know come up with something um, to plug it in if that red light bothers me but that's really only going to be a problem for the outlets it's not going to be a problem for any of the light switches obviously um, the way we've got that one set up that seems to be the solution so this really only applies to people that have this specific uh, these specific intermatic switches either the the dimming ones or the the on off switches or the controlled outlets and probably only have a home seer system um, but for those small number of people this might be a solution that they need to know about